Hey everybody, it's the t rock the Hundred. Welcome back to more Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode, we got ourselves our very first Pokemon, which is a Turtwig. Let's take a look at the stats in this thing so far. Okay, so that's 32 experiences until it gets up to the next level, which is going to be a big deal. This basically shows us some of the other stuff that that has. This right here is its stats at the moment. Um, I did say in the last episode this thing's going to be really good when it comes to special attack and special defense. I actually meant to say special attack and defense once it's fully evolved. And that's basically our stats right there. But enough about that. Let's go ahead and ex excuse me. So, in this episode, we're going to be running into Barry here again. Too slow, Derek. I'm sick of waiting. I'm going to see Professor Rowan so I can thank him properly. So I had this great idea. Listen up, Derek. You know that lake where we always play at? You know how they say a legendary Pokemon lives there? You guessed it. Let's catch that Pokemon. That'll make Professor Rowan happy. I'm sure of it. Me and you together. We've got nothing to fear. Um, so yeah. I guess we're gonna be heading for a variety of lakefront. And what is this? Lake variety ahead. According to legend, this lake is home to the Pokemon said to be the being of emotion. It is because this Pokemon that people can experience sorrow and joy. That's the little something we're gonna be dealing with a little bit later. It's a little bit of a side quest, really. Alright, we're at the lake. Get ready, because we're catching that legendary book. Trust me on this one, it's here. It even says so on the sign. What's going on? The flowing time. The expanding space. I will make it all mine one day. Cyrus is my name. Remember it. Until then. Sleep all you can, legendary Pokemon of the lake bed. Please, allow me to pass. Step aside. You're gonna want to remember this guy! What was that about, good guy? Okay, Derek, let's catch a legendary Pokemon. Did you hear that, Derek? That was a legendary Pokemon crying. It had to have been. Okay, this is our chance. Let's catch him. Wait, what? We don't have anything on us? You know, Pokeballs. P-O-K accent E-Balls. <laughs> I like how he like, throws in the accents and I hear. If we don't have those, we can't catch Pokemon or take them with us. Do you think Professor Rowan can give us some if we ask him? You remember what he said, don't you? He said to visit him in his lab if we need anything. Okay, Derek, I'll race you. First run of Professor Holmes' lab and snag him town rules. Alright then. So now, we're going to be heading east of the 201. And we're going to be seeing what there is to do up there. But first, we have our very first random encounter. This is a beat dove. B-Doves are basically the Raditas of this generation. I don't really recommend this Pokemon for your party unless you want to use it as an HM slave. Personally, I just don't think it's going to be that good of a Pokemon, literally. It evolves into B-Barrel at level 20, and it also gains a Water-type ability, which is pretty good, and it also gains more defensive as well. But if you're going to have a B-Dove, I recommend you have it as an HM slave. That's pretty much the speed. Alright. Very nice. Now there's one other thing that we can do. We're gonna want to talk to this guy. Who are you? Hi, I work at a Pokemon Mart. Do you know that a Pokemon's health is measured by hit points? Durr. If a Pokemon runs out of HP, it faints and can't battle anymore. If Pokemon's HP gets low, you should heal it with a potion. Here, let me give you a potion as a free sample. First one's free. It will automatically go in the medicine box of your bag. So yeah, if you guys have played a Pokemon game, and if not, I feel very sorry for you. Potions basically restore HP. This one will restore you 20 HP. Alright, we just have another beat off right here. Um, you know what? I actually want Turtwig to go to that next level, so... 
Let's just take it out of the break. Ah, did that much? Jeez. Very nice. And with that, Churchill grew to level 7. Which is very, very nice. Anyway. Hey, Dawn, how's it going? Oh, there you are. Please come with me. The professor is waiting. This is it. Our Pokemon Research Lab. Let's go. Hey! Watch where you going there, Blondie. What the? Oh, it's you, Derek. That old guy, he's not scary so much as he is totally out there. Oh, it doesn't matter, Derek. I'm out of here. See you, Derek. Crazy people like that exist for a reason. Wow, what was that? Furniture seems to be really impatient. Well, anyway, let's go inside. Alright. So? Welcome to the Pokemon Research Lab. Pretty nice. Well, well, look who's here. Derek, was it? Let's have a look at your Pokemon. Hmm, I see. This Pokemon seems to be rather happy. So happy. Hmm. Trusting you with that tour took was no mistake, it seems. Well, would you like to give it a nickname? Yes. I'll be right back. I am going to go ahead and give this one a nickname. So I'll see you guys in just a second. Hmm, I see. Are you happy with that nickname? Yes, I am. I am really happy with that nickname. When I first saw you two about to step into the tall grass without Pokemon, I was shocked. Astounded by these foul hearted children. But now, you astounded me in an entirely different way. Already there is a bond growing between you and that Pokemon. I feel privileged to have met you. I'm sure Churchwick feels the same thing about you. That's why I'll ask you to cherish that church pick of yours. I'm so glad that you're kind towards Pokemon. If you weren't, I'd have to. Well, I just can't say it. I really don't know about what she was about to say right there, otherwise that could be really, really crazy. <clears throat> Let's move on to the main topic. There's something I want you to do for me. Allow me to properly introduce myself first. My name, as you know, is Rowan. I study Pokemon. First of all, I want to know exactly what kinds of Pokemon live in the Sinnoh region. To do so, it is necessary to collect data using the Pokédex. This is why I wish to ask you. I want you to trust you with this Pokédex. We should record data on me on the only Pokemon in the Sinnoh region. Okay, so you want me, a ten-year-old guy with a strange-looking hat, with a turtwig by my side, so you could fill out a Pokédex for us to do it? You got it. Hmm. Good answer. So we get the Pokédex. It's like Bulbapedia. Um, speaking of Bulbapedia, I'm actually using that for stats Pokemon on the new Pokemon that we're going to be seeing, either encountered or by trainers. That Pokédex is very high tech and a device. It will automatically record data on every kind of Pokemon you encounter. Deck, I ask you to go everywhere and meet every kind of Pokemon in this region. I've got one too. When you walk up Route 201 with your Pokemon, what did you feel? I lived for 60 long years, even though I get a thrill when I'm with a Pokemon. Now you should know that there are countless Pokemon in this world. That means there are just as many thrills waiting for you out there. Now go. Derek, your grand adventure begins right now. The Pokemon that I met for the first time was a Piplup. If you would I chosen a Piplup on Route 201, we have the same Pokemon now. Not that it matters, but anyway, I'm done. I also helped the professor add pages to the Pokedex. So in a sense, I'm just like you. I just got a little head start on you, that's all. I'll be happy to teach you things. Glad to meet you, Eric. Alrighty. So? Oh. Derek! Jeez, screaming in my ear much? I have something good here. You should take this as well. And we get TM27! This is the very first technical machine we can get. And what contains the move return? Using that technical machine, or TM for short, teaches a move instantly to a Pokemon. Bear in mind, however, that a TM is single use only. Not in Generation 5! I'm so glad they fixed that. The move return gains power the more friendly your Pokemon is to you. It's up to you, of course, if you want to use that TM or not. I'll send you off with the wish that your journey will be fun. 
Oh wow, I didn't know the professor had TMs. He <laughs> Was he a trainer when he was young? Okay, Derek, I like this your mentor. I got a bit more experience than you as a trainer and as the professor's assistant. Okay, follow me. This building with the red roof is the Pokemon Center. It's the place that heals Pokemon that have been hurt in battle. Find out the Pokemon Center? Most out. The building with the blue roof over here is the Pokemart. It's a shop where you can buy and sell items and medicine. Derek, since you're a novice trainer, you won't be able to buy any kinds of merchandises. Don't let it bother you. Oh, that's right, Derek. Don't you just let your family know that you're going to be helping us run with the Pokédex? You may need to go far away, so I think you should let someone know. But, before you go, heal up your Pokémon at the Poké Center. It'll be a lot less scary out there. Okay, bye now. I'm actually not going to go heal my Pokémon up fairly quick. What I am going to do is, is, cutting ahead! Real quickly, along the way, we run into a Starly. Um, Starlies here are very good physical sweepers. And they're also pretty fast. But unfortunately, their defenses are abysmal. I mean, just look at that! One tiny little attack did that. Um, I would actually recommend you get a Starly. Or basically as another HM slave for another time. But believe it or not, I'm actually thinking of catching a Starly for my team a little bit later. But first things first, we are going to be saying goodbye to our Madre. Pokemon oh, Derek, are you and your Pokemon healthy? Take a quick rest here. What is it, Derek? Wow, Professor will ask you to do something that big? Oh dear, go for it. Your Pokemon's got your back. Oh, I know, Derek. I've got something that you'll find useful. And we get the journal, which is probably the most worthless thing ever. At least for me, guys. That's a journal. It keeps a record of your daily events. Check it, and you'll be able to remember what you did last. Gee, a journey full of adventure? I envy you, kiddo. Plus, you're not alone. You have your Pokemon with you. I wish I could go instead. I'm just joking, dear. I'll be home right by myself, so you go and enjoy your adventure. And you're exposed to new things and experience new sensations. It makes your mother happy too. But come back sometimes. I would like to see the kinds of Pokemon you've caught here. Who are you? Excuse me, is my little berry here? Oh, great. Oh? No, he's not. Oh, then he must have left already. What to do? That boy shouted about going on an adventure, then he bolted. He's so headstrong and reckless. I at least don't want him to take this. Not to worry, Derek will deliver that to him. Won't you, Derek? Well, since I clearly don't have a choice, alright. Oh, really? You do that for me? I might as well. Derek was his sister buried for me. So we got his parcel. Okay. Bye bye, Derek. Enjoy your adventure. Let me think. Knowing my boy, he would probably head straight for Jubilee City. Okay, please take that to my berry. Alrighty, so. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut ahead until I head back to Snagum Town. So I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay, I am back. So, now we're gonna be heading up north to Snagum Town. Now that we've said goodbye. And Dawn was waiting for us. Oh, that's right. Derek, I haven't shown you how to catch a Pokemon. I'll demonstrate you how to catch one. So just watch me, okay? This right here basically shows us the tutorial of what we need to take care of. She will always stumble upon a big dove, which is... I guess it's kind of a trademark thing for this game. So, if you are a Pokemon beginner, all you need to do is just weaken the Pokemon some. And then you'll want to toss a Pokeball. Dawn, if you would please demonstrate for us. And please move faster! She will always successfully capture one. I mean, playing Diamond and Pearl, she will actually rush through this. Like, she won't actually show you how to catch it. Like, not that battle scene right there. <laughs> See? Isn't it neat? Actually, it's better to lower your target's HP more than I did. It's 
important to get the Pokemon's HP down as low as possible. It's because of how the Pokemon is very difficult to catch. But Pokemon also get easier to catch if you make them sleep or something by using our Pokemon's move. That I'll get into a little bit later, whenever I have that, so our Pokemon gets it. Okay, Derek, I'll get you started. I'll give you five Pokeballs. Alright! Very nice. That's what Pokemon would do. It'll be safer on long trips. Plus, if you have a lot more fun having your Pokemon friends along. Okay, I need to get going. Bye now. Alright, now that we've finally gotten five Pokeballs, um, there is two new Pokemon that can be found out here, and it is not this one. Um, I'll be right back. And yes, before any of you guys ask, I actually went and named my Turtwig Snapper, because the Snapping Turtle is actually for what this thing is based off of. How did you miss? Alright, I'll be right back, you guys. And we found it! This is Shinx! Shinx is a your very first adventure type you can find in the game. It's actually a very good Pokemon to have. In fact, I recommend this Pokemon so much, is that guess what? Shinx here is going to be my second member of my team. In fact, I actually have a very good name for this thing. I'm gonna name this um, for every new Pokemon I'm going to catch, that I'm only going to use on my team, I am going to name the thing for what the thing is based off of. It's really, really cool on how these Pokemon have something that, what they're based off of. Alright, well, anyway. Shinx is a Flash Pokemon. The extension and contraction of the muscles generates electricity. It glows when it troubles. Alright. So, I do have a really good name for this thing. The name that I'm going to be giving this thing. If you guys have seen this movie, then you'll know for what it is. But let me go quickly and heal up my Pokemon real quick, so I'll see you guys in just a second. Um, along the way, I'm actually going to go ahead and capture the Starly here, because believe it or not, Starly is actually my next member of my team. Um, there's a l actually a lot more better flying types out there, but this one is a physical sweeper once this thing is fully evolved. So, um, like I said before, I'm not going to talk about their evolutions unless that they're encountered or they're by a trainer. Alright? One, two, three, got him. Like any typical bird Pokemon, this thing is pretty good. If you want to have it. Alright, so, is that a rosette of Pokemon? He's Starling Pokemon. Because they are weak individually, they form groups. However, they're bigger as the group it grows too big. Yes, I have the name. This thing, believe it or not, this thing is what it's based off of. Name is Starling. Yeah, if you can believe that. So, be right back, you guys. Okay, I am back. And right here, we have our very first required trainer battle. This is, uh, average boy here. Youngster Tristan. He's going to have a level 5 Starly. Yes, this is what I named my Kim. My, yeah! This is what I named my Shanks. Kimba. If you guys know from what movie that thing got its name from, then. I end it. And Kimba, you are sucky at the moment. I would also recommend that if you get a Pokemon, well, not really a Pokemon, but a Shinx with the ability to Intimidate. Um, Intimidate is basically a move that lowers the attack stat by one level whenever it's sent out. So, uh, it's... come on, Snapper. Come on, you whippersnapper! <laughs> wow, I can't believe I just went there. Wow. I can't believe that this battle has taken me so long. Alright, so... We're about up to 20 minutes. We got our next two Pokemon that I'm gonna have on my team. We defeated Youngster Tristan here, and... 
think we're actually gonna go ahead and end this video off here, alright? So, next time on Pokemon Platinum, we're going to be heading out for Jubilife City. Um, also, off screen, I'm going to be doing some leveling up on my own, alright? See you guys then!